Alors, on va voir maintenant deux autres leaders. Alors, on a eu deux leaders français. Là, on va voir deux mastodontes mondiaux. Euh, ils se sont longtemps fait la guerre, ils se sont longtemps tapés, euh, tirés dans les pattes, mais ils viennent justement d'annoncer un partenariat. Ils viennent d'enterrer l'âge de guerre, ils viennent de, de se réconcilier. Et il s'agit de Microsoft et de Red Hat, euh, et notamment Microsoft qui a annoncé qu'il allait accueillir les machines virtuelles Red Hat dans Azure. Alors, ils devaient être présents physiquement, ils n'ont pas pu être présents physiquement, donc ils nous ont envoyé une petite vidéo qui donne justement leur vision de demain et leur vision de l'innovation ouverte. On regarde. Bonjour, and welcome to the Paris Open Source Summit. I'm Jim Whitehurst, President and CEO of Red Hat. And on behalf of Red Hat Associates worldwide, and particularly here in France, we'd like to welcome you to the event. Open source is truly exploding. As users are starting to drive their own innovation agendas, areas like big data, mobile application and containers are happening first in open source. Red Hat's role, our mission statement, is to be the catalyst in communities of contributors, customers, and partners building better technology the open source way. So we look forward to engaging with you here at our booth and throughout the conference to discuss what we're doing and hear what you're doing. Red Hat's been in France for almost 15 years, and we're excited to see the progress of open source here. In fact, all of the top five banks are large open source users. We have enterprises like Amadeus, who are building their entire new cloud-native application platform on Red Hat technologies. We're seeing adoption in enterprises, we're seeing adoption in universities, we're seeing adoption in education. It's a great thing to see. So we hope you'll come and visit us at our booth so we can continue the dialogue. And again, please enjoy the event. Welcome.